Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Five police officers face possible dismissal over the way they dealt with a man who'd broken his neck following an incident outside a nightclub. Julian Cole, a sports science student, suffered severe brain damage and has been left paralysed. The case has been referred to the Crown Prosecution Service to consider whether it should bring criminal charges. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Shaw, has more. Yeah, I'm saying it's not easy to see you. Or is it chatterbox? She comes here every day to be with her son, Julian Cole is in a residential nursing home and needs round-the-clock care for the rest of his life. The 23-year-old is severely brain damaged and paralysed, barely aware of what's going on around him. But the devotion of his mum, Claudia, is clear to see. He's still alive. But some people have got the same injury, like they never survive. It was so different three years ago. A talented athlete and football fan, Julian was studying for a degree in sports science and had ambitions to be a coach or PE teacher. But that all changed after a night out in Bedford in May 2013. Julian was arrested and restrained outside a club during an incident involving bouncers and police. He broke his neck, suffering a severe injury to his spinal cord. But instead of being taken straight to hospital, the young student was put in a police van and brought here to a police station in Bedford. It was then that an ambulance was called. Since that night, the actions of the five officers involved have come under intense scrutiny. They're all facing the possibility of criminal charges. Disciplinary proceedings could also be brought for alleged gross misconduct over how they carried out their duties and responsibilities. And now for Julian Cole's family, there's the prospect of finding out what happened on the night he was so badly injured. My hope is I need justice. No matter whatever, whatever they did for him, it won't bring him back. But the only thing I need, justice. It's thought prosecutors will take some months deciding whether to bring charges. In the meantime, Claudia will carry on caring for her son as she's done every day.